subscribe to get contents via mail, purchase shorthand journals and more. The present appeal is filed by the appellant herein a medical practitioner being aggrieved and dissatisfied with the order passed by the additional judicial magistrate of 2006 and confirmed by the High Court of Judicature at Allahabad on February 9, 2007 in Criminal Revision Number 366 of 2007. By the state orders, the courts below issued summons to the appellant for commission of offences punishable under sections 304, 504 and 506 Indian Penal Code. Briefly stated, the facts of the case are that the appellant herein is a medical practitioner. It is the case of respondent number 2 complainant, resident of Mathura that he is residing at the aforesaid place, that the father of the complainant had pain in his body. On July 4, 2001, at about 6 pm, therefore, the complainant brought his father, Buddhoram, to the clinic of the appellant here in for treatment. According to the complainant, treatment was given by the appellant who administered three injections to Buddhoram. Within half an hour, Buddhoram died. The appellant asked the complainant to remove the dead body of Buddhoram immediately and also threatened the complainant not to take any action against the appellant. It is the case of the complainant that he immediately went to Surir police station to lodge a report against the appellant but the police refused to register any case. He therefore filed a complaint in the court of additional judicial magistrate Mathura on January 3, 2002. In the said complaint, the above facts had been stated by the complainant. A prayer was therefore made to take appropriate action against the appellant doctor for offences punishable under sections 304, 504 and 506 IPC. It was alleged that on July 4, 2001, the father of the complainant died because of negligence on the part of the appellant. It was also stated in the complaint that the complainant went to village Khaira on August 20, 2001. In the morning at about 8 am, the appellant accused made the complainant and abused the complainant stating as to why he had filed a complaint against the appellant. According to the complainant, the appellant also took out a revolver and threatened the complainant to kill him unless he would withdraw the complaint. It was stated by the complainant that since the police refused to lodge report against the appellant, he was constrained to file the complaint. A prayer was therefore made to the court to direct police station Surit to register a complaint of the complainant to take up investigation and take appropriate legal steps against the appellant. In the alternative, the learned counsel submitted that serious error of law has been committed by the courts below in issuing process for commission of offences punishable under sections 304, 504 and 506 IPC. It was submitted that so far as sections 504 and 506 IPC are concerned, even the learned magistrate has not stated anything as to why process for the aforesaid two sections should be issued. As to issuance of process under section 304 IPC, the council submitted that even it is assumed for the sake of argument that whatever is stated by the complainant is true. The appellant is a doctor and it is well established that in exercise of his professional conduct, no criminal liability can be imposed on him.